Okay. I had found this uh, screenshot. I don't even remember getting it. So I was trying to figure out, okay, is it from 2020 or when is it from? So since I don't even remember gathering it, I went to her page and found it. And yes, it is from this year, October the 7th. <laughs> Posts like this make me think two things. One is, how good is her attorney, this Jeffrey guy that everybody speaks so highly of that I don't have any faith in at all? After reading his court documents and there's so much false information in there. And anybody who's saying, oh, you think you know more than the attorney? Yeah, I know more than this attorney, that's for sure. But that's another story. Because I don't need Boss Blake coming over here and telling me I'm being ugly. <laughs> I ain't going to let you forget that, Blake. <laughs> anyway, let me just read it to y'all so y'all can understand a little bit better. It says... On October the 7th, at 3.04 in the morning, Teresa posted this up. She says, with the clapback emoji, I want everything that belonged to Kanika, whomever got my babe property, 100. Can a professional help me out on how long does it take for them to return deceased person property once the case is closed? J for K for life, 100. And then, of course, whatever she has there, she shared it from somewhere because we can't see it. Now, most of these comments are irrelevant, to say the least. Um, which maybe it's it's a picture of, oh, maybe it's uh, the picture of her post where she shows uh, the picture of uh, the watch and the belly button ring or whatever. I don't know. Just guessing, because this first comment says she had more than that. Another one says, J4K, we won't rest until J4K for life, for truth, property, and peace. Wow, where's the rest of her belongings? We need answers. J4K for life. This is so bogus. And they pretty much go on like that. Um. This genius says they wanted to ensure that there was no evidence at all. A big cover-up. Leonora says, but God. And then, see, I'm praying for you. The Lord will bless you with everything you need. Justice is in the future. This one says, my beautiful queen, do not take it back. They will say you did something to it. Take a lawyer and a professional detective. Can we all do something? Can we protest? You are obviously a brand new follower. And I don't mean that disrespectful, but it's just obvious, I guess. This one says, wait, what? This been supposed to be returned you her mo property, Mama T, especially if they closed the, her case. This is how rumors are going to get started. They have no need for it unless they are still investigating her case without you knowing it about it. Which I would love because her case should have not been closed in the first place. Go get go get your baby girl's belongings. You just told them don't. Make up your mind, girl. Now, this link here, I went to it and you can see here it says Scott. It's actually from Scotland. Basically what it said was that If all the stars line up, like, they don't need the stuff no more, if the case is closed, blah, 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 and there's no chances for appeals, which there wouldn't be any way that they could appeal anything, I don't think, anyway, on this. You know, but there's a lot of if, ands, and buts. Plus, I'm going to tell you something when I get done reading this. Okay, then we got, we're going to get justice. Good morning, beautiful. This one says, which is BS because I thought belongings are removed at the hospital, not at the scene. I'm still praying hard for you, Ma. <sighs> Maybe you 
should contact the show the last hours of they can probably get all the info needed screaming and praying for justice show the real tapes return her belongings Lubia, which is supposed to be a friend of Kanika's, I mean of Teresa's that lives there in Chicago, says they kept her property. But why? A trophy? Oh my God. Like I said, rumors will be starting soon, I'm sure. Bernadine, what they doing in the dark is definitely coming to the light. I feel it. This is, I got my stuff back when I went to the morgue and I ID'd his body. They gave me everything. Still praying for you. Once the case is closed, everything should be returned immediately. You should be able to file a lawsuit against stolen property. Ah, this one says, I have something to say. I'll s I respect you all. I hate this happened to Kanika, but if you didn't get her items back, there is a chance DNA is on some of those items and it is a cover-up. You should... I know that person's name. Wow. You should um, have been received her items, been contacted your attorney, asked the politicians if you must. Yes, I saw these pictures. Yes, baby girl was fighting until her last breath. Much love from New Jersey. God bless you. Somebody else says they should have been done, gave it back to you. Once the case is closed, they didn't even investigate. This one says there's not a day that goes by. I don't think of her. This is sad. Sorry you had to go through this. They won't. They don't want you to find DNA of the murderers. They paid for their evil was their cover-up. Okay. They're not giving it back because they got rid of her stuff. Then the and the evidence to link it to the murder. Unfortunately, you may not ever get it back. And then this one right here. This is the one that had that little controversy going on about calling herself Kanika's grandma. And she's just like a play grandma, but still. She says, Miss Teresa, God will answer your prayer real soon. I am sorry how you, to go, you had to go through all of this. After losing your baby, do know God sees everything. He will answer you, your prayer, your pray soon. I love you. Okay. Now, what I was going to say is, depending on what stuff, because we've seen many different posts where she's, Listing things and saying, uh, Kanika's hair, Kanika's cell phone, Kanika's clothes, her shoes, uh, I don't, I don't remember if there was anything else on the list. Anyway, now, we know she owes money for the second autopsy. We know she owes her first attorney's money and we know that the first attorney has her the cell phone so why are we making this post and, and even if even if you don't know all of this why aren't you asking your hot shot fancy pants attorney I don't know what else to call him but I, I know all of y'all out there oh he's great he's wonderful he's the bomb diggity Okay, maybe he was. I, I haven't seen it in his work. Maybe he's got a magician's top hat and he's going to pull something out of it at the last minute. But from what I've seen of this Jeffrey Biger guy, he ain't diddly. But either way, even if he is or he isn't, she should know at this age in her life, in as many court cases especially that she's gone through, that that's actually questions that should be asked to her attorney. So why is she bringing it to the public? I have no idea. 